two espresso presenters, two cities, and one great big adventure. This is the Ford Echo Sport Challenge. Zoe and Ewan will put their driving skills and wits to the test as they solve clues and complete a series of challenges until one is crowned the winner. With a little help from celebrity friends, these urban adventurers have to accumulate points along their journey on a road with plenty of twists and turns. It's time to hashtag get busy as Zoe and Ewan are handed the keys to their Ford Echo Sport and discover their first clue ready and waiting. I can be roasted, but I'm not a turkey. I can be ground, but I'm not pepper. I can be brewed, but I'm not bear. In order to find me, you'll first have to parallel park somewhere near. I've got some GPS coordinates, so let's see. Driving out of the dealership was a little nerve-wracking. All eyes were on me, but the minute we hit the road, it was such a smooth ride. I absolutely love the finishes it has. It's beautiful, it's simplistic, it's got that sporty feel to it. I'm quite surprised by the explosiveness of this engine. It's quite responsive, I like it. The first task for our dynamic driving duo is something most drivers fear, parallel parking. The parking challenge was not my strong point. And you couldn't ask for a smaller parallel spot. And it's a time challenge. I was in a busy road, cars were behind me, I felt the pressure. I mean, it's a new car. It's new dimensions, it's, it's, it's I don't know, the, the kind of corners to it. But I managed to get the car in there easily because it helps you with park assist. I've driven with Zoe before and she's a confident driver, she really is. But I honestly think that she might have had a little bit of trouble. I hope Ewan has the same challenges when it comes to his parking challenge. <laughs> I'm in, done. I think I did very well. I think I beat her. I think Ewan beat me, but then we have more challenges, so I'll get him back. Quick off the start, Ewan slides into an easy win with the parking challenge. Will Zoe make a comeback, or will this dent her confidence? It was freezing, so I figured, okay, if there's anything to do with brewing, then please let it be coffee. So I walked into Bean Day Cafe. Something interesting about them is that their green bean coffee sacks are sold and donated to various recycling projects, and their takeaway coffee cups are 100% compostable. As I walked in, I saw Zola, and I just got so excited because this is going to be our first little adventure together. When Ewan entered the Bean Day Cafe, I turned my back a bit so he couldn't recognize me because I was looking out for him and I turned to him and he was genuinely surprised. So that was lacquer. I, I love things like this. So I'm like, right, my day just got way better. <laughs> this is so cool. It's customer to freeze, what on earth? The clue that we received was very cryptic. A plant in a tray that's not too far away. It's a form of art taking horticulture to heart. Also a Japanese tradition that will take some cognition. What is cognition? <laughs> Cusper de Vries, what on earth? I think I might have an idea. Let's go. I love adventures and doing one with Zola was super special. Plants in a tray that's not too far away. So it's not maybe outside, it can be inside. Artistic planting and it's Japanese. Uh, Bonsai. Uh, is that what you're supposed to do? You get a good knip as a poodle. You can a poodle mark as a rechterbol. To the bonsai, Zoe. And beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the tree. <laughs> Bonsai originated around the 6th century and the ancient art is notoriously difficult to master. Could Zoe and Ewan be barking up the wrong, perfectly manicured tree? So we pulled up to the Makibu Bonsai shop and uh, we walked in and we meet Jonathan and we're like, hey, we were right. Bonsai! Welcome to Bishopsford Bonsai Nursery in the beautiful Constantia Valley. When we arrived at Bishopsford Bonsai, to see all the different types that they have here was incredible. Some with little fruit pieces, some with little flowers on them, was truly special. It's an age-old culture and tradition that I wasn't aware of. When the Indus Valley people just woke up, the first bonsai key was there in Japan. 7,000 years. Wow. We're going to be working on wild figs today for your tree, and this is what they look like. Beautiful. This is a ficus natalensis, so it's indigenous to Natal. Ficus Natal. natalensis. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, ficus Natal lenses. Yeah, ficus natalensis. Um, still wrong, Zola. It's actually ficus. He is hoping Zola's bonsai pruning skills are better than her pronunciation of bonsai tree names. 
So we saw the figs, which I got really excited about because miniature fruit, I mean, who doesn't get excited, right? But then the expert said, Zola, I don't advise it. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to eat it. Here, Zoe, lick the fig. So dared me to eat it if I wanted to, and I wanted to, so I gave it a go. And sweet. Don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> and she actually did. Oh my God, if she dies, it wasn't my fault. I licked it. And it was quite sweet. Today's challenge is we're going to take something like this in its rough style and create it into something like that huh. in an hour. The bonsai challenge will have the contenders and their celebrity partners carefully shape a bonsai tree. They'll be judged on workmanship and their ability to follow guidance from their bonsai masters. Typically in Japan, it takes six years for an apprentice to be able to get to that type of area. We've got less than an hour. Bam, on the table, and he unrolls this like leather satchel. Bonsai people are psychos who work with strange dental tongs and clippers. It's very Dexter, eh? So, so very, very interesting to see that there's so many different tools that you need to, you know, kind of sculpt your bonsai. This is Ziggy. Zoe named her that. It's Zola and Zoe. We made a little Ziggy. I would have called her Figgy. I do feel like Zola knows more about plants than myself. Two bonsais have died under my supervision. Oh, this is quite therapeutic. It was hurting me. Every time I touched it, it was pricking. Ow! Yo, it's not man. We're not It was so. I found Casper cut, 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 where Ewan was more thinking about what he was doing. Ewan got the whole concept of bonsai. You go into the tree at the moment and you stay in there where Kasper was more on the outside. Kasper's like a freaking vigilante. He's just like in there, he's like bam, bam, bam. He's scissor trigger happy, whatever you call it. And he just starts cutting. I was like, dude, like, relax. Like this, this tree, you gotta treat it gently, you know? While the gents get heavy handed with the scissors, the ladies have opted for a more gentle approach. By pruning the, the end off, you're slowing down the growth. And so by pruning off that growth hormone, it has to resynthesize and then it'll push your next branch out there. So in that way you can style your tree just by pruning. Here? Yes. Above? Oh. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say Zola did listen more because I was choosing the pot based on the color where size mattered. <laughs> My mother watches this show. You need to take a step outside of your life and you kind of get in there and that is the only thing you're focusing on. And that is what I loved and it turned out beautifully. I'm so proud of what we did. Yeah, no, you guys have done very well and I've got a certificate for you. There we uh, go. It's another uh, clue. Zola, so, I'm going to leave you with our little Ziggy. You're going to be a great mama. <laughs> Ewan and Kasper were awarded 25 points for their bonsai, mostly thanks to Ewan rescuing Kasper from cutting the tree clean. But because Zoe and Zola worked with more thought and attention, they were awarded 30 points. Am I not going with you now? Right. Here's my way out, and I bolted. How must I get home now? now I must stay here with a bonsai. OK, so I just got my next clue, and it says... You'll embark on your own till you find your backbone. Pick A, B, or C to uncover your next place to be. Along the way, there's an uphill climb, be it little... Or just to show the car in its prime. Zoe likes her feet firmly on the ground. And although Ewan is our Superman, he has a weak stomach when it comes to a quiet taste. As our contenders head off to meet their challenge, the question is, will they be brave enough to take on what lies in wait at their next destination? Oh, well, Zoe, you might be just a little bit behind you in, in the overall challenge, but look at this. This was your championship winning bonsai. What's his name again? Can I say, this is little Ziggy for Zola and Zoe and being at a figgy tree, so we just oh. went with the name. Well, at least I chose the name Ziggy. You know what's cool about this? It's the first time I've ever made a little bonsai tree, and it was such a cool experience. Quite it was meditative, really... I've, I've heard. But look, you can see the little mini leaves coming through there. Absolutely awesome. So um, follow in Zoe's spirit. Make sure in the Ford Echo Sport that you don't miss out on any of life challenges go hashtag get busy hashtag get busy in the ford echo sports 